That, that we live in a finite planet with finite resources and the rate humanity is going through them is, is they're not going to be around for generations to come as previous generations had. So I thought well what could I do to make a difference and investigate technologies that either extend the use of what we've got or become more renewable. Uh, by renewable we mean they can be replaced over and over again like forests into biofuels sun and electricity. Taking maths, science, P, gateway and English. I want to try to get a course in the building industry. And probably a master builder. Five years ago I turned my life around from a bad circumstances. I've uh, enjoyed bringing all the skills that I've learned in previous years in the corporate world and my diploma in business management into a hands-on business that's commercialising um, a waste product here in Otiki. I've just finished last year, year 13 last year. Um, year 11. Yeah, everyone's doing their part to save the environment and having, watching what they do, not just worrying about themselves, worrying about everyone else in the future. An equal world where women get paid equally, um, where everyone isn't so self-orientated, um, kind of cares about the future. It's, it's probably a cliche now that we are preparing students for, a, for a, a, a jobs that don't exist, but there's a sense of reality about that, that actually students need to think very, very broadly about what they're doing. And, I, and some of my advice would be actually not be, to be too specific, to actually keep your options open. And I mean, and what it seems to me that we need is kids who are well, employees that are critical thinkers, people who are able to solve problems people who are able to take situations, take problems that they see in society and come up with original solutions using modern technology. It's very exciting to be at the Clean Tech Centre in Ōtaki and to be uh, talking and considering opportunities that we can engage. And to do it right here in the Clean Tech Centre is extremely exciting because there's an authenticity about the learning which students could do in a place like this. It's not only about learning about the theory of technology or carpentry or automotives, and it's not even just about doing it, it's also about doing it next to people who are at the leading edge of technology, not just in New Zealand but around the world. Um, what interests me about Entire is how easily it is ground down, down into a powder and then turned into a vulcanised rubber and then turned into a mat. That just seems to interest me as to how it all happens. It definitely helps to be able to see it happen and to understand how it happens while you're doing it. Um, at the moment I'm not entirely sure what I'd like to do after college, but maybe university, maybe go into work, but still not entirely sure. I think the ideal future looks like one where we've let down on pollution and absolutely got everything recycled into something new and something that we could reuse sometime in the future. Um, one of the key benefits here is that within a stone's throw of this building, there are many, many companies who are right in that space. They're doing sustainable products both um, for New Zealand but also internationally. They're creating new businesses, new job opportunities. Um, and those are opportunities that students need to know about to sort of make those better transitions again. I guess for, for a lot of young people in that the excitement of careers is that they could, it, it could take them beyond where they currently reside and it could be another place in New Zealand or it could be the world. But I think one of the things that we also know is that a lot of our young people do value where they live and they want to get jobs close to home. They like the opportunity of working close by so they might still want to be staying in the family home and not having to pay rent somewhere so that they're saving their money as opposed to putting it out there. So in terms of carpeting, I think carpeting is a, a pretty exciting 
vibrant area and there's lots of opportunities that we see unfolding. Both Ethan and I are um, fourth year building science master students. Um, I think that the, the greatest thing about being a building scientist in sustainable engineering systems is that you really put yourself in the world basically in terms of a building that's got not only going to last for a long time but it's going to be environmentally friendly as well and it's going to obviously save a lot of costs and energy because you um, reduce the energy consumption in solar panels, um, energy generation systems and ma um, mainly passive design within the houses. The building that we're currently in, um, some of the designs were influenced by uh, students from previous years. I think with the courses that are going to be on offer, it's a really good opportunity for the students in the cafeteria. It's just local, you don't have to travel so far. Particularly with the STAR courses as well, I've mentioned them to a few of my students and they're really excited about being able to get experience hands-on in a real-life business situation. It's something that we can't offer at school because they only get one hour at a time to do technology but they can come up here and have a whole day and they're also getting credits towards the level two so it's a really good opportunity for them.